Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're watching X Man. <laughs> the journey continues with X Man. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for rocking with us, like always, man. So we started the MCU journey and somehow it's brought us here. But today we're checking out X-Men. I don't really know what to expect with this, man. I know Wolverine was like a dude who used to wear yellow spandex, but now he looks a little different. So I do know who that is. But other than that, I really don't know much about this franchise. Baby, tell us what you know about X-Men. Absolutely zero. This is the most blind reaction I've ever had to anything, at least you know pop culture you know things happen in passing but i haven't seen a single thing about it all right guys let's get into it <laughs> mutation it is the key to our evolution it has enabled us to evolve from a single-celled organism into the dominant species on the planet this process is slow normally taking thousands and thousands of years but every few hundred millennia evolution leaps forward that word, that word millennia was in Thor. A big word. I've just never heard it until that time, and now this is the second time I've heard it. <laughs> You've never heard that word before? No. It's insane. Aren't you college educated? We just never used it in college. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry. You know what those are? And they look like cells. No, nah, those would be neurons. That's what I meant. It's a nap. That's what I meant. That's like my pet peeve is wet socks. <laughs> this was war times. So somewhere out there, cats out there, huh? It's damn good to know. This is a very dark movie. Yeah, like literally. Oh man, they got separated. You see that? I mean, what little I can see, yeah, I think I got that. Yeah, but the dark light adds so much drama, contrast. And anxiety. Who oh, is no. this kid? Whoa, he's psychic or something. Really? It seemed like it. Maybe he's using like electricity to move that metal? Whoa, maybe. Maybe he's controlling neuron. Were they like experimenting on him, Hitler? Ooh, they said shut him off, shut him off. Dang, he did that telepathically. That's crazy. Looks like a tree fell on it or something, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Niagara Falls, up the Canadian Rockies, and then it's only a few hundred miles to Anchorage. Alaska? Well, that's the point, stupid. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be an adventure. He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even get the vibe they liked each other. I mean, until now, of course, but like. Well, they're just. Whoa! Oh, she a leech! What the heck? <laughs> what in the world? She is a kiss of death. You call an ambulance? <laughs> that would suck. Ladies and gentlemen, these mutations manifest at puberty and are often triggered by periods of heightened emotional stress. You see what's going on? No. <laughs> to address the issue. Three words are mutants dangerous. Senator <laughs> Kelly. Senator, it is a fact that mutants who have come forward and revealed themselves publicly have been met with fear, hostility, 
even violence. I am urging the Senate to vote against mutant registration. Oh, they have to register themselves? Like sex offenders? Like, uh, mutant offenders. This is getting muddy, y'all. A list of names of identified mutants living right here. A girl in Illinois who can walk through walls. Now, what's Ooh. to stop her from walking into a bank vault or into the White House? Or I mean, it wouldn't, wouldn't stop me. And there are even rumors, Miss Gray, <laughs> of mutants so powerful that they can enter our minds and control our thoughts. I think the American people deserve the right to decide whether they want their children to be in school with mutants. I don't know, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's got a point. That's scary. Somebody can control your thoughts. And this girl just kissed one and died. We must know who they are. And above all, we must know what they can do so sinister i don't know i get that like you know what i'm saying this is gonna be muddy right here man jeez i kind of like it i kind of like this already i like it too because it's like real life yeah like yeah it's like if they were in in our everyday life what would be our next step you know well, yeah we'd be terrified and this peculiar man what are you doing here why do you ask questions to which you already know the answers i've heard these arguments before it was a long time ago Mankind has evolved since then. Yes, into us. He didn't like that. He's sneaking around in here, Charles. Oh, he gets in his mind. <laughs> so that's Charles. That's Gandalf. Whoa. I'm looking for hope. Fly, you fools. <laughs> Bring you hope, old friend. I love this. Ask only one thing in return. Don't get in my way. Never get in a wizard's way. We are the future, Charles, not them. They no longer matter. Man, that's messy too. So the guy in the wheelchair, his name's Charles? So he's psychic and he's like kind of like pro-human. He's like, oh, they're just scared, misunderstood. The other guy's like, bump all that, it's our time. I don't know what time he's talking about though. Well, okay. the sinister undertone meant like our time to rise up, right? Of oh, the mutants? This is Laughlin City. Where is she from? That, is that that same girl that just kissed the dude? Yeah, but what, is, what else does she play in? I've seen her before. I don't know. She looks like she could be a teenage witch or something. Internet, assemble. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, like in Hocus Pocus or something? Yeah, like she was in it. Oh. It's cage warriors, y'all. Oh my ears, I've never anything like <laughs> <laughs> What's he all hopped up on? Tequila. Whatever you do, don't hit him in the balls. You said anything goes. Anything goes, but he'll take it personal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he going to do it? Please don't. Oh, a cheek shot. Oh, my God. Boom. Oh, one, two combo. Wow, he's just dropping that guy. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's him. Do you remember his name, babe? Uh, I'm like it has a silent G in it somewhere. Hugh, Hugh Jackman. No, his superhero name. Oh no, I don't know him. Groundhog Man. Oh, Hedgehog Man. Hedgehog Man, that's it. I just don't know Hedgehog Man. When we first got together, you was just so gullible though. You would have believed it. Yeah. You would have believed anything. Jeez. But I know it's not Hedgehog Man. Like, come on. Find something new, honey. I know where I've seen her. Where? Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Love the beer. Cigars. Now people, the new one would have a vape. Right, yeah. <laughs> now he'd be on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Many American legislators have contended that... You owe me some money. No man takes a beating like that without a mark to show for it. So what's he implying? He's got like. I know what you are. Lusty oh. oh, he knows he's a mutant. Mm -hmm. Look out! Ooh. Was that in his hands? That came right out. He has Look. metal steels. I told you. Get out of my bar, freak! Oh no! Don't hurt him, please. He didn't mean to do it. I don't like that they're so mean to them. But he low-key was hustling them. 100% he was. <laughs> and he was holding back, too. 
Yeah, he could have sliced y'all up, but he didn't. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel bad, too. Like, I'm all for being nice to people, for sure. But, jeez, man. You want that guy walking around? What if that guy don't agree with you? I mean, as long as he's doing it for the good, right? Yeah, but is he going to do that? Like, who does things for the good? Uh, Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is true. I can't figure out what his name is, actually. Steel Knuckles. That isn't good. Yeah, imagine if he walked up and was like, look in the rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> he would be like, lose an eye, probably. <laughs> Inside joke. Yeah. Not the best spot to pull over. Oh, it's that girl. She hit Sherrod. That was smart. Kind of. I'm sorry. I needed a ride. Thought you might help me. Get out. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. You don't know or you don't care. Pick one. It's too cold, man. They're in the middle of nowhere. He has horns on his, on his hair. That's kind of jacked up to leave that little girl out there. I know. Even if she has a mysterious cloak. Oh, does he really? I wouldn't want nothing. He's reaching out the glove box. To What's get. he got? Probably some jerky. I'm rogue. That's a cool name. Were you in the army? Wolverine. Doesn't, doesn't that mean you were in the army? He said, "Stop asking all them questions." He ain't even said one word. Eat your jerky. Wow. What? Oh, there you go. Suddenly, my life doesn't look that bad. Hey, oh, the no, the road. no. It looks cozy. She farting? I don't know. Do they have like 10 years apart? I'm joking. I don't really think they are. I'm not going to hurt you, kid. When people touch my skin, something happens. What? They just get hurt. Oh, I see. When I knew that, but when she was old enough to like, when she just became like a little older, as a, I don't really want to say it. when she it, hit you know puberty. Yeah, I didn't want to say it, but that's when she touched that dude when she kissed him and then he got, I see. Because I was like, don't she play on the playground? Right, but that's like, right. then you should wear it like a scarlet letter so you don't touch nobody. That's what they're trying to say. What kind of a name is Wolverine? Right. What kind of name is that? My name's Logan. Marie. It looks more like a Chuck. <laughs> oh. I knew it. I just knew it. Luckily, you can beat him half to death and you won't have a scratch on him. Oh, Whoa. no. He said, uh oh, my liquor. All good. He gets beat up, beat up by the town's finest every day. It kind of sucks this guy wasn't there. It must not be in the same universe or something because we could have used him against Thanos. Right. <gasps> oh my. And it just healed. Instant regeneration. He's kind of got that motorcyclist vibe. His Wolverine senses are tingling. Whoa. Clay Matthews jumped out the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh, no, not the pipe. Oh, home run. Dang. Who's this fella? <laughs> that dude was crazy, don't he? Whoa. Elsa. I don't know who that guy is. Vision? <laughs> Vision's brother? Are they mutants too? Dang, dude. I mean, I'm not trying to compare, but that's pretty clean. You know what I'm saying? That's that a good explosion? Right no, nah, just like these X-Men, they compete. They compete with some of my favorite Avengers. Yeah, and they that just pulled clean. up. They didn't even have to know each other, I don't think. My dude walked up and was like, Bzzz, you know what I'm saying? Shot that laser out. Weren't you supposed to bring someone back with you? Oh, 
<laughs> it's the Lannisters. Him? Yeah. That's Jamie. <laughs> What's Gandalf do up to? What happened? They knew. He's controlling that. Hmm. That was the guy whose parents died, right? I have made the first move. That is all they know. Oh my gosh. The UN summit is Baby, did you see that? Mm -mm. Guys, that was one of the hardest scenes I've seen since we've been on this freaking journey. Guys, this man right here sits there and baby, he's not just sitting there controlling that thing going back and forth. He's doing it subconsciously. So he's, control he's controlling something at the molecular level subconsciously. Oh wow! So that just—they did that to exaggerate how powerful he can be. Like if he oh. really was trying to, that was crazy. This is the lady at the conference meeting talking. I mean, he uses a vino too, don't he? <laughs> you might not want to do that. Ah, uh, dude, why did you do that? You weren't in the ring today, bud. Look, the door has an X on it. Is, he gone? Is this like their headquarters? I know, it's so clean. Stainless steel, everything. And there's like suits, so I was like, hmm. Oh, that's their locker room. Right. Maybe you're getting drafted. Where are you going? I don't know about that. Well, that was quite the transition, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. This way. He's over there. Those vases are so expensive, I bet. Probably two grand a piece. Yo, this kids is like are running a near them. Kids are running near the vases. Man, those are some good kids. We'd have locked them vases up in the dang storage room closet. <laughs> Held them hostage. Anthropic principles. Let's go. Why'd she run? Bye, Kitty. Kitty. That girl. That's she the girl that can walls. walk through walls. I'm Charles Xavier. Would you like some breakfast? Always. You were attacked. My people brought you here for medical attention. I don't need medical attention. Yes, of course. Where's the girl? Rogue. She's here. She's fine. <laughs> really? Ah, Logan. I'd like you to meet Aurora Monroe. Also called Storm. Oh, that's Halle Berry, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Also called Cyclops. That's that guy on screen, isn't it? The cop. You're in my school for the gifted. You'll be safe here from Magneto. Magneto. A very powerful mutant. I've been following his activities for some time. Man who attacked you is an associate of his called Sabretooth. Sabretooth. He did look like a Sabretooth. Yeah, fitting name for him. What do they call you? Wheels? <laughs> Rude. Axel. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Dude, you have claws. You want to get out of my way? It's been almost 15 years, hasn't it? Living from day to day, moving from place to place. Shut up. Give me a chance. I may be able to help you find some answers. You're not the only one with gifts. Oh, wow. That was crazy. What is this place? Okay. So <laughs> oh, wow. That's illegal. You can't do that. <laughs> this is why... This is why they can't like. This is why people are mad at them. Right? Yeah. Cyclops, Storm, and Jean were some of my first students. But I mean, would you not use your mutant powers to get ahead? I would. Like you know, not to try to hurt people, but I mean, I can't help it. The students are mostly runaways. Some with gifts so extreme that they've become a danger to themselves and those around them. Like your friend Rogue, incapable of physical human contact. Dang. Man, that sucks. with others her own age. Learning, <laughs> being accepted, not feared. Yeah, you gonna learn, little boy. Keep messing with her. It's the Ice Man. That guy's on Alan Wake. He's a cop. What'll happen to her? Well, that's up to her. Rejoin the world as an educated young woman, or stay on to teach others to become what the children have affectionately called X Men. But the school is merely our public face. The lower levels, however, are an 
entirely different matter. That was that Motorcycle 101 class. When I was a boy, I discovered I had the power to control people's minds. When I was 17, I met a young man named Eric Lenscher. He could create magnetic fields and control metal. He grew angry. He's talking about Magneto. He became Magneto. Right. I'll make a deal with you, Logan. Give me 48 hours to find out what Magneto wants with you. And I give you my word that I will use all my power to help you piece together what you've lost. And what you're looking for. What's he looking for? Maybe a new RV? Yo, he could be. Because his got smashed up by the saber tooth. It exploded. You think the saber tooth's the one who dropped that thing there? That wrecked his RV? That tree? I don't know. He's like, we can't let these mutants take over. <laughs> well, some of these so-called children possess more than 10 times the destructive force of any handgun. <laughs> I mean, that's true, though, dude. Like, that leads such a... <sighs> one of those kids has a bad day at school and blows up the classroom and kills everybody. I'm glad I don't have to be in that world where I have to, like, think about that. People like this Jean Grey. If it were up to me, I'd lock them all away. That's scary for him, too, though, because if he's going to be all anti-mutants, they could easily, like... Attack him. Where the hell are we? They could easily walk up to... <gasps> Whoa! Lizard people! <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. What in the world? Them blue toes! Oh. You know, people like you are the reason I was afraid to go to school as a child. Wasn't, wasn't she just a guy? I guess she's, like... A naked lizard? What would you call that? Like a shapeshifter? Yeah, basically. Man, she said people like you are the reason I was scared to go to school. <laughs> like I get that too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the pilot knows her. He just was like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Because if I saw that, I would fly into that water. I'm sorry. For what? If I hurt you. Couldn't wait to get my shirt off again, huh? He's like, I might inject you with three needles this time. How about that? His haircut's kind of crazy, though. Whoa. It's been surgically grafted to his entire skeleton. They're retractable. He has uncharted regenerative capability, which enables him to heal rapidly. This also makes his age impossible to determine. Who did this to him? He doesn't know. Nor does he remember anything about his life before it happened. Dang. So he's basically like a science project? What do you think Magneto wants with him? Not entirely sure it's him Magneto wants. So they're like the resistance, basically. Yeah. <laughs> the radicalized mutant party, huh? Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Toad has a wicked tongue, Senator. Toad. I like that. So Gandalf just has a senator like that? Sorry, I keep going on Gandalf. Magneto? Mr. Gyrich has been dead for some time, Senator. But I've had Mystique here keep you company. She takes so many shapes. Are you a God-fearing man, Senator? Such a strange phrase. I've always thought of God as a teacher. What you really are afraid of is me. Me and my kind. The brotherhood of mutants. Mankind has always feared what it doesn't understand. Well, don't fear God, Senator. And certainly don't fear me. Not anymore. I mean, how many Oscars does this man have? What do you intend to Rack do? Rack up. Let's just say God works. Comment below. Whew. I'm just wondering, when did he build this? And did he do it alone? And what is it? Yeah, like, why don't you tell us? You just got in there. So he's using his powers to spin that thing to generate so much. It's like warping his, like, something. something. But it's obviously, like, wearing him out. <laughs> Is he like making a magnetic field? I guess if you're a mutant, it doesn't bother you, but if you're... I don't know. I'm so confused. I think you'll be comfortable here. Actually, I'm telekinetic. I can Why do they not like each other? I don't know. All kinds of things. Dang. I also have some telepathic ability. So she's like Charles. Her name is Jean. So read my mind. I'd rather not. <sighs> what do you see? Scott. Scott's like, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> you gonna tell me 
to stay away from your girl? Well, if I had to do that, she wouldn't be my girl. Mm. It must just burn you up that a boy like me saved your life, huh? <laughs> do you not realize that he used to Sydney Prescott? For my girl. Queen. What do you mean he dated Sydney? Who was that? You said it earlier, but he was the cop in Scream. Which Scream? Scream four or five, and then they get married. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> Monty's tossing and turning with that. He's like, Meh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why he goes by Wolverine then, if his name is Logan. Oh, uh, because he's a badass. That's his cage name, dude. Oh, but he had an army tag with it. <gasps> no, you didn't. Hopefully she can take it, right? Oh. No. Bro, he's about to get expelled for sure. Was he even in the class? That's terrible. Somebody help! Oh no. Are you good? Maybe because he can heal, it helped her? She like sucks the life out of people. Maybe she's sucking the life out of him. I don't know. Like. Oh shoot. Wait, so does this dude always wear glasses? Yeah, to just be unpredictable. Oh, he survived it. She all right. She'll be all right. Whenever Rogue touches someone, she takes their energy, their life force. Whoa. In the case of mutants, she absorbs their gifts for a short while. In your case, your ability to heal. So she's intense. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a strong ability. Don't fall for her, boys. That's the senator. I mean, that kind of proves the point, right? Politicians just walk on the wrong helicopter. And boom, just like that, they're kidnapped. <gasps> oh my god, that just is that just gave me anxiety and scared me. He's like a stress ball or something. I don't know, maybe when that magnetic field hit him. Oh, I don't like looking at that. That's a scary face. Oh, you think maybe whatever that energy stuff was, it altered his uh DNA? Maybe. It made him a mutant. <gasps> maybe you better hope you can do that again. That is so cool. Oh, I love his costume right now. Oh, he changed him into one of them. I said change and turn at the same time. I don't know, man. That ain't going to convince me. That's just going to scare the hell out of me if I'm a citizen. <gasps> oh, he's stretchy. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. He's not going to get hurt. He's going to stretch. He hit the water and turn it into like a flounder or something? I don't know. He backs off them. I feel like the pugs do me like that sometimes. So I'm like, Tommy, let it go. The jellyfish. Tommy, please let it go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a merman? Sands. Sands right there. What a cameo that time. I know. I didn't think we were going to get one. I had I mean, no idea. That was cool, guys. We were not expecting that. I know, I just got really excited about that. Good thing I'm so dang observant. No, I'm just kidding. You say that you're stealing other mutants' powers. No, no, I, I, I borrowed his power. You never use your power against another mutant. I had no choice. You if have I were understand you, me. I'd get myself out of here. Boyfriend's dramatic. The students are freaked. Professor Xavier is furious. I don't know what he'll do with you. He didn't seem furious. I think it'll be easier on your own. I think she was in Scream 3, but I'm always wrong. <laughs> that was Mystique. That blue girl? Where is she? Who? Rogue. She's gone. Welcome, Professor. Welcome to Cerebro. This device amplifies my power, allowing me to locate mutants across great distances. Why don't you just use it to find Magneto? 
I've been trying, but he seems to have found some way to shield himself from it. How would he know how to do that? Because he's freaking Magneto, man. <laughs> oh. Now if you'll excuse me. Now if you'll excuse me. <laughs> he's so proper. So we like the professor, right? Mm hmm Have you ever used Cerebro? No. It takes a degree of control, and uh, for someone like me, it's dangerous. It looks like a giant VR room. It looks stressful. So that many people are mutants? Really? So it's like common. Maybe it's not that many people are mutants. Maybe she's just colored because she's a mutant. Mutant. She's at the train station. Logan, you can't leave the mansion. It's just the opportunity Magneto needs. I'm the reason she took off. We had a deal. Not actually. She's all right. Storm, Cyclops, find her. See if you can talk to her. I like Storm. She's cool. Where's my motorcycle? Dang, you know, stole his motorcycle? That's a reckless guy right there. He said, Hell's Angels, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh. What if a saber tooth pops out in front of you? When I'm driving that? You're gonna crash, right? I'm gonna hopefully like jump it. Not I'm sorry about last night. Me too. I heard the professor was mad at me. Who told you that? A boy at school. Which one are you? I thought she killed him. Really? Yeah, because um, I thought she had to kill him to take his identity. Okay. She can form into Professor. Okay. She's annoyingly, like, too good. You know what makes this concept so good, baby? What? No matter what the situation or no matter what the job calls for, you can design a mutant with just the right amount of powers to get the job done. Right. The first boy I ever kissed. He gone. He's like, what? Poor thing. She's just trying to be a teenager. Aww. And she can't just give simple things like hugs. That would really suck, for real. There's not many people that'll understand what you're going through. But I think this guy, Xavier, is one of them. He does. There's like a whole search party for you, ma'am. Give these geeks one more shot. <laughs> Come on, I'll take care of you. You promise? Yeah. Yeah, I promise. They got enrolled together, didn't they? They came a long way in a short amount of time, didn't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so rude. Scream for me. Oh, so he speaks English. Who's climbing that wall back there? Oh, it's Toad. Oh, no. Oh, so if his glasses come off, he just starts it's shooting all of his eyes. Right, yeah. See, they try to contain all their stuff. Yeah, but he don't. Yeah, he don't. And even though they tried to, look at all that destruction. Mm -hmm. She's still summoning lightning right in the middle of a freaking train station. True. Dangerous. Toad Man Jr. He just gets disrespected a lot. The tiger? I mean, the saber tooth? <laughs> yeah, the tiger. Not a train station. Oh no, if all that's rattling Magneto's nearby. Yo, he can fly? How? <gasps> Dang. You must be Wolverine. That remarkable metal doesn't run through your entire body, does it? No, sir. It really doesn't. Oh. Oh, so he can control the mess out of him. Ooh, I bet that hurts. Ah, oh, don't be pulling on his... Mm. <laughs> Whoever said I wanted you. Oh, he wants Rogue. Really? Oh, I cannot believe Gandalf of all people is doing this to someone else. You know what I'm saying? Gandalf's the best character. I don't think I've ever seen him be evil before. Me either, and I never want to see it. I don't know, man. I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, he's kind of good. Look at all the metal cars. Put your hands over your heads. 
Yeah, I could probably just bring them to him. That's going to be a problem. Is he going to drop them on him? And this is why we think we should register you guys. That's the Second Amendment. <laughs> he took it away. <laughs> <laughs> Homo sapiens. Oh, well. <gasps> That's enough, Eric. That's Dang. Enough. They stood up to him like that? Why not come out when I can see you, Charles? He don't want to. That's tough. Mm, that's cool. He's yeah. psychic. No, he can't read your mind. Oh, no. You'll have to kill me, Charles. Let them pass that law and they'll have you in chains with a number burned into your forehead. Oh, he's really against that because the um, he was in a he was in a concentration yeah, camp, concentration essentially. Camp. Yeah, I get it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I see where he's coming from. Uh Oh, did he for real? Oh, oh my gosh. Care to press your luck, Charles. He really does have control. I I can stop right. Them all. Man, I bet you can. Why doesn't he back up? Maybe he's stuck. Still unwilling to make sacrifices. That's what makes you weak. So they used to be buds and then they kind of went on the opposite end of like... I don't know, morality. Well... What about Charles? From Charles's perspective, he became radicalized. I mean, I wouldn't disagree. Seems a little crazy. It's a really hard concept, you guys. It would be like really sad either way. Because people can't help it. Right, because if I was psychic, I would just make you guys stop what you're doing. Like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and hit us up on Patreon. Somehow designed to block my telepathy. And yeah. <laughs> That's what I would do. Then I have an unfair disadvantage, right? <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to find her. How? Oh. The traditional way. Look. Logan, you can't do this alone. Who's gonna help me? You? Then help us. Fight with us. Fight with you? Or join the team? Be an X-Man? Mm -hmm. Who the hell do you think you are? I got better things to do. You know Magneto's right. There's a war coming. Are you sure you're on the right side? At least I've chosen a side. Oh, that's the guy who washed up on the beach. Is that the senator? Right. And this is going to be a real testament to Charles' character because even though he's been spreading that blasphemy about him, he's still going to take him in and help him. Senator Kelly. Stand up, guy. I'm Professor Charles Xavier. We're not what you think. I look to the ones who did this to me. Right. They were bad ones. I want you to try and relax. I like this guy. This Charles. Magneto did it. He's walking? Oh, so he's walking in in the telepathic thing. Welcome to the future. Brother. Confusing statement. But what kind of powers did he give him? Radiation that triggers mutation in ordinary human beings. Kelly's body is rejecting it. His cells began to break down almost immediately. Dang, so he basically gave him, like, cancer? So what does Magneto want with Rogue? I don't know. You said this machine draws its power from Magneto. And that it weakened him. In fact, it nearly killed him. Yeah, put him up in there. He's going to transfer his power to Rogue and use her to power the machine. Is somebody there? I'm here. Please don't leave me. Don't want to be alone. Ooh. Man, that's Aww. tough. All right. Yo, he leaking, man, for real. Normal people. I suppose. I'm afraid of him. <gasps> Ooh. What is he turning into? A slug? Just water? She's like, definitely not. She ran to go get a mop. <laughs> Senator Kelly is dead. You think that's dead? I think he transformed. Settle this. Don't you think the news headlines would be going crazy if a senator got kidnapped? You would think, but I haven't seen him yet. Maybe the news cycle is just 
crazy in this world. Uh oh. What happened? It just ejected him like that. I'm sorry. He's dead? They said I'm know. sorry. Yeah, but there was no finality to that though. I don't know. Oh, is she gonna try? So he's alive, he has brain activity. You've taught me everything in my life that is ever worth knowing. Uh but if anything happens, I'll take care of them. Let's go, Gene. Back up, Scott. So this must just be really dangerous. Oh, it must. That's about to whip her mind, y'all. Maybe she can like fight it. That's what I'm feeling. She's gonna fight it and figure it out. Jane. Jane. You know she has a migraine. <laughs> He's going to the Iron Islands. Oh no. How does that big old dude sneak up on you, though? I know. I would hear him coming a mile away with that. Them boots he has on. So fancy. <laughs> Just like, what the heck? If I had to be a mutant and I turned into a toad, I'll be sad. Right. That's what I'm sitting there thinking. There's so many things you could be like some of them would be like the jackpot. Some would suck. I mean, it would be cool to be the, that lizard girl. Maybe. I don't know. I, minus like I would have to wear a bra with me. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you wouldn't want to walk around with your titties out. Like that. <laughs> yeah, like, but baby, you do that. Magnificent. <laughs> I've seen it. I first saw her in 1949. America was going to be the land of tolerance. You an artifact, bro. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Are you going to kill me? Yes. Mm. <laughs> Why? Yes. There is no peace. Not here, nor anywhere else. Women and children, whole families destroyed simply because they were born different from those. In but so was she, and you're going to kill her? <laughs> well, he's radical, though. He's willing to sacrifice for the greater good in his mind. He's just going to turn everybody into mutants. Your sacrifice will mean survival see i'll understand if that comes with small consolation rude put it in the machine oh no i'll raise it what's this big bomb they got in the background the big green thing liberty island whoa he doesn't know his machine kills if magneto gave rogue enough power he could wipe out everyone in new york city we can insert here at the george washington bridge come around the bank just off of manhattan it's tough to be in new york if they have anything they can pick up our jet, they deserve to catch us. I like New York. Don't get me wrong, guys, but I'd like to see these superheroes come on down to Georgia every once in a while. They film it there. Well, yeah, but they make it take place in New York all the time. <laughs> no, nah, it's always they just they New York's always getting attacked. Right. Do you prefer yellow spandex? Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. you said. Whoa. I'll be honest, man. That old Wolverine character looks a little goofy to me. Yeah, I never knew it was a Wolverine. Like, now I'm thinking about it. I seen, like, a cartoon, and it had a weird box head. Mm -hmm. And it did not look like this guy. He had a mask on. You just thought it was Freddy Krueger? No, I had no idea what that was. I thought it was that thing Space Ghost. I bet no one knows what I'm talking about. I bet someone does, but... That's the varsity team right there. Hopefully, he has, like, really good control of them. Storm. Cover, please. Whoa. That's smart, so they can fly incognito. Man, I'd be so suspicious of that weather, though. Shop. We're not alone. Once I give my power to the girl, I'll be temporarily weakened. You'll be my only defense. Opportunity. Let's get them. Uh, the one that they're rude to is the only defense. My prediction, Sabretooth lets them die. Sorry. You call that a landing? They have some male tension. Is it because they're both competing over that girl or something? Yeah, but like this guy's just brand new. That's already his woman, kinda. Poor girl. First the rigid security. 
I'm ready for my ankle to do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> Why didn't his face go off though? His little visor must be made of plastic or something. I don't know, but he wolf flicked him off. Wolverine flicked him off. No, she's not. No, she's like she's the little not. like Fortnite Christmas tree that you turn into. Where? The bush. I know there's someone here. I just can't see him. <gasps> oh my gosh! I don't know who's who. And okay. she has their powers too. So she has. Oh. She's the most dangerous, right? I mean, yeah. Hey! Do something that the only real the Logan would do. <laughs> He's in. <an>, ah! <laughs> that was his tongue. That reminds me of that little thing off uh, Left 4 Dead, guys. If y'all ever played that game, there's like a thing on there that's called like Toad Tongue or something, and it'll grab you and suck you off somewhere. Not suck you off. <laughs> <laughs> Not suck you off, guys, but it'll wrap you up with his tongue and drag you off. So you gotta like work with your team. <laughs> what in the world? Whoa. Why was that the best part? Ugh. Someone told me if a toad licks you, you get a wart. Is that true? No, I used to have all kinds of warts when I was a kid. Ew. Did. did you get licked up by toads? Mm -mm. Oh. I had about four on my knee. Ew. One day I scraped them all off in one incident. It never came back. Okay, disgusting. Oh, God. Is that the real one? Because he did... Oh, no. She's kind of tough, though. Yeah. I like her. She's the coolest character in this thing to me. Because she's just so powerful. I think she likes my boy, though. <laughs> oh, don't kick him there. He gets mad, remember? Maybe the only thing he has that's not made of metals is junk. <laughs> and he's very protective over it, bro. I will be free. Dang. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're not maneuvering around like that with your with your boobies out. She slithered away crazy, bro. Let's go, Storm. No. Man, they are destroying that place. Yeah, that gift shop is done. You're gonna have to build Charles. He understands. Hanging by the tongue. You think that hurt? Yeah, of course. You know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? It gets electrocuted. <laughs> what you mean? The same thing that happens to everything else. Right. Except for sand, it turns into glass. That was tough. Logan, is that you? Shh. The other one ain't far away. What the heck? I don't know what to, who to trust. I know, but there's a problem. <gasps> no, he didn't. Oh. Is she dead? Oh. Nice. You tricked me. Man, she died a little easier than I thought she would. Dang. I would have walked up to Scott like you're not part of the group. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Prove it. You're a dick. <laughs> okay. He kind of is like Iron Man. I heard that similarity before. Yeah, they're similar. Well, I guess they're just franchise players, aren't they? Everybody Basically. What is it? I can't move. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Ah, my brothers and you. Let's point those claws of yours in a safer direction. <laughs> Stop doing him like that. Dang, twisting him up. Storm, fry him. That is jacked Wait, up. A bolt of lightning into a huge copper conductor. Great idea. I thought you lived at a school. <laughs> Mystique. Mystique. Oh, the good senator survived his fall. He's become even more powerful than I could have imagined. He's dead. It's true. Are you sure you saw what you saw? They have no idea what's brewing. Like, they're just chilling. 
Why do none of you understand what I'm trying to do? They control our fate and the fate of every other mutant. Full of shit. <laughs> if you were really so righteous, it'd be you in that thing. Yeah, he doesn't really care what you gotta say, bro. He said bye. I'm just trying to figure out how he can fly. Maybe, maybe like he has magnets. Like a, uh, maybe like magnets. Yeah, maybe he has a metal belt and he just lifts it. Maybe. <laughs> Did he just stab himself? I'm really not sure. I think he was like this. I think he just like stabbed through himself and cut the straps in the back. Mm. That, that hurts. That guy is so stupid. He didn't see that coming. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. <laughs> really? That's like the one thing I think might could possibly happen. Bro, are they really fighting on top of the statue? I'm sorry, No, be nice. Oh, nice. Wait, can't she mess with him? No, I think that she can get his powers. Yeah, but that's the whole point. She doesn't want to do that because he's putting her powers into her on purpose. Mm. Oh, I got so that you. Way she She's can blocking control it. Or trying to block it. Oh. Okay, Wolverine. <gasps> oh my gosh. The man's out there trying to make the saber tooth extinct, ain't he? Yeah. But he's just endangered. You owe me a scream. Why though? Hey, Bob. I'm not finished with you yet. That ain't good. Nice. Team play. Yo, he shot it out his eyes sideways. Is that someone's yacht? Gotta get her out of there. Cyclops, can you hit it? The rings are moving too fast. Just shoot it. I'll kill her. Storm, can you get me up there? Yeah, that thing will explode and kill her. Then let me go. All right, do it. Gene, use your power. Try to steady him. She's about to pick him up with a tornado? No way. There goes that Pecos Bill reference again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wait, he's weak right now. He's too weak to do right. anything about it. I was about to say, why doesn't he just flick him off? Is he about to just jump in there and the timing's right? There's no way. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, don't do it. Yo, how did he time that? Because he's, I guess, Wolverine. Oh, he's weak though. He's weak, someone get him. Ooh, this is about to hurt. This is a lot worse than sticking your fingers Stop in the ceiling pan. <gasps> They're bending. Her hair turned white. She's turning into rug the white. Oh, it's approaching. So this is happening in the torch of the Statue of Liberty. I knew it was us up there. Gene, I have to. Just wait. I have a shot. I'm taking it. Good shot. Shut it down. Let's go. But it might have got some like aquatic animals. Hey, it might have killed that girl too. We haven't seen her yet. Because that thing's going to explode and chunks are going to hit her right outside the head. Possibly. Are you scared of the, the animals in the ocean? Getting yeah. Hit? No, turning into something crazy. Oh, yeah. Like three headed sharks and stuff. Mm. Look, she got some money pieces. Oh, she. Oh, he's going to give her the. His. Healing power. So beautifully written, guys. Jeez. Is it working? It has to. Maybe she's dead. I won't accept it. There we go. Oh, that might be amongst the worst, my girl. All his wounds are opening back up. Oh, she's up. She's up. Dang. Blood pressure's dropping. Unconscious. That's pretty cool that he can revive her. You know, when you get blood and they give you them nutter butters? That's what my man needs right now. <laughs> some nutter butters and some apple juice. It's the it's the blue girl. 
Remember, Wolverine stabbed her, and he, she turned into a cop. Oh. So they're about to take her out like she's a cop, but... He's a lizard. Yeah, she's a lizard, people. Just kidding, I really don't know what she is. Shapeshifter. I knew you'd find your way. I have you to guide me. Good job, Gene. He still has scratches, though. Maybe that, he has an origin story of the scratches. Dang, he healed. Fantastic. Did it work? Yeah. She's fine. I think she's a little taken with you. You can tell her my heart belongs to someone else. What about Scott, though? <laughs> <laughs> Scott's in the background, like. Scott's like, I did everything I could. He's a professor. He's good. Good. There's an abandoned military compound. Alkali Lake in the Canadian Rockies, close to where we found you. Might find some answers. Thank you. So he's just a lost soul, man. Goodbye to them. I was wrong in this particular issue, mm -hmm. and I hope in time I may be forgiven. To draw support. <laughs> I was about to say that man's dead. Body of Senator Robert Kelly's longtime aide, Henry Guyrick, was found today. <laughs> he's like, yeah, foosball. <laughs> <laughs> you to go I'll be back for this <sighs> there you go sister walking out the door mm -hmm. Scott's bike <laughs> <laughs> sorry about your gift Scott right gifted youngsters Scott was like a 2005 third baseman with the glasses on <laughs> <laughs> like you made the all-star team. <laughs> Why? Doesn't even wait you in the I just thought he did pills or something. Feeling that someday they will pass that foolish law and come for you. And your children. It does indeed. So he's not dead. Why do you come here, Charles? Why do you ask questions to which you already know the answers? You're continuing search for hope. Oh, so he's visiting with him in jail. That's so nice. This plastic prison of theirs won't hold me forever. <laughs> plastic. And I will always be there. Old friend. <laughs> His wheelchair wasn't made out of metal, was it? I don't think it was. It's plastic in there. Look at that prison, dude. That is <laughs> They had to make something different for Magneto. A plastic prison. All right, guys, so that was X-Men. Babe, what did you think about this movie? I thought it was interesting because the concept, honestly, like kind of kind of what would you do if there was actually mutants out there? Like, how would you what would you do in your everyday life? And it's a scary concept because they do look like us and they do act like us, but they have they're very capable of some very dangerous things. So morally, you're kind of left with I don't really know what to do. And what about what did you think? Yo, man, I just know that reality as it is, is already as complicated as it could possibly be. Uh, just everything, man. When we're talking about like the Israel-Palestine war, everything from the Russia-Ukraine war, world history, social issues. Reality is very complicated, man. Uh, just when you think that things are common sense, when you think that you got it all figured out, there's so many different perspectives and there's just so many different variables that you can never take into account. And I'm just glad we do not have to live in a reality where we're talking about like mutant rights because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just one of those things. No argument really wins if you're a mutant and you're discriminated against. That really sucks. That girl said she didn't even want to go to school because people were so scared of her and she mm. couldn't even. I mean, you know, like you have kids, you want your kids to be able to go to school and just have a normal right. life. Right. But at the end of the day, man, like all it takes is one of these characters and boom, they go into school, they have a bad day and they blow the school up. So right. or one of them, you know, word forbid your son or daughter dates one of them and then, you know, they go out on a date and you know what i'm saying he ends up in a coma because they right. kiss vice he versa tried, or something to give her a like, that kiss. would suck man so i did think the movie was extremely interesting on yeah. that front 100 percent. i like i like where the universe of this could go yeah you know what absolutely. i'm saying like uh, if that is an in introductory to it, it it's going to be very unique and i can't wait right to see it. right there is so much politics to be had in this and you're right you could really build a whole world off of this so i'm excited to see where it goes too because absolutely. you know this is like the beginning events that are probably going to set forth this whole entire web. 
Nothing. This is a <laughs> this is gonna set forth like the whole entire events leading forward. So I'm sure like the politics of the future will be determined by the events that just happened on screen. Right. So this is probably so gonna be something eventful. You want to talk about like who the X Men are? Like which ones? Yeah, man. Yeah, so okay. go ahead, baby. Who is your favorite X Men character? Okay, my favorite by costume was Storm. Storm was dope. I like Storm, but I, honestly, I, all I had to know that she could do was just conjure like the weather. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you got. Yeah. And then I would have to say my second favorite would be Rogue or Wolverine. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I didn't really. Cyclops was all right. Yeah. Cyclops was born. I think uh, he was meant to be like kind of like an all right character. He probably right. would prove himself eventually. But like, you know, I felt like he was supposed to be like the beta male in that if, male relationship. So I guess like, if Cyclops is your favorite character, just stop lying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just playing. I mean, maybe later on he, he but in this one he he kind of was just like you know kind of yeah. There. I mean, he had a, he had an important role to play. He was just kind of there. Love the concept though, man. So basically, this guy who goes by the name of Magneto becomes very radical because he realizes that no matter what, there's always going to be a reality in which perfect casting with that. Sorry, I spoke yeah, that, that was great. That was wasn't perfect it? casting. It was, yeah. But he realizes that they're in a reality where they're never going to quite be accepted. He realizes that, man, he uses that to radicalize himself. And I guess his whole agenda is to basically, I guess, spit in the face of people who are anti, anti-mutant. You know, he took and, like and a very... And if you don't like him, he's going to try to turn the, like, the leaders of the world into them. Right, to exactly. It. And then Charles has more of a, we're going to like be compassionate and we're going to, more of like a Martin Luther King approach. Like, basically. I'm going to accept you guys and I'm going to teach protest. you how to use it right. instead of, you know, be be crazy about it like Absolutely. you use it to um in a malicious way i'm gonna teach you how to use it you know and control it and so he founded something called xavier's school for gifted children i believe youngsters. is what it was called is that what it was youngsters right and it's a place where all these young mutants can come and basically escape the outside world and just feel accepted and feel at home and really learn to harness and control their powers in a productive way that's a you know, essentially going to serve them to be able to, like, blend into society, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think that's a wonderful thing, man. Uh, it gave me Avengers vibes because yeah, it, it did, felt like it, it was like they were at, like, a, you They were know, the squad. Like yeah, the, they were the, the squad. Team. Like, you're, it's kind of like he's just teaching them to, like, you know, when Magneto decides he's going to do all this chaotic stuff that Magneto does, right. he, they're going to be there to protect him. I really like how at the beginning of the story, man, Wolverine was in a cage fight, almost like Spider-Man was mm. in the Tobey Maguire ones. Uh, that's funny. I guess these movies sort of came out around the same time. Yeah. In the same era. So that was really cool to see. Xavier has this school, man. Eventually Wolverine becomes a part of it and he realizes that it's a little better to be in a group than it is to be mm -hmm. on your own. But eventually in the end of the movie, you did see that Wolverine eventually wrote off right. by himself because he's got his own personal. There was a lot to learn needs. about Wolverine, you know, like right. he it said he w could only survive that surgery because he could like heal himself. Absolutely. So. There's a lot to be told. I mean, I mean, obviously he's going somewhere maybe to figure out more about what he is going on or maybe to find someone. Well, the biggest elephant in the room is he doesn't know who done that surgery to him. So right. he knows that's what he's trying to figure it. out. Yeah. yeah. So, so he's, he's basically lost. And they may, they mentioned in the movie that he could be even older than the professor. And you saw him. Right. He was at least like pushing 80. Right. Right. So, man, he could be very old. So I'm assuming there's going to be a lot more to discover about Wolverine. Very my interesting prediction character. Is, my prediction is he was during those times. When they were experimenting, doing like cat stuff. times, yeah, yeah like cat times. times. I feel like he was during those times, and I feel like they injected a super him with soldier, that. basically. Right, I feel, right. and I felt like they were going to use him to like attack, but I feel like maybe the Germans captured an American because he had a dog tag. Right, I don't know, man. That's just a prediction, guys. I'd be really disappointed if we got out of here without mentioning. Obviously, there's a reason that we're watching these movies. There's a reason they correlate, and I haven't seen that yet. So <laughs> I eventually, don't know the reason. <laughs> maybe stands in it. I don't know. Eventually, I guess these are going to tie in in some type of way. You know, once we move past Endgame, that really did open up the whole multiverse mm -hmm. part of Marvel. So, you know, obviously that this is going to blend in in some type of multiverse way. I don't know exactly what this is going to look like or anything. I, I honestly think, and I could be wrong, maybe Wanda is an X-Man. You no, know, she is. She's a mutant. Uh, oh, I know she's a mutant. And that's why I'm saying maybe that how it, how it connects. Like, Wanda somehow went through that school. Well, maybe know. Wanda will end up meeting up with uh, Charles or uh, Logan um, or whoever. Maybe one know. of them. And I'm excited for that moment. You know, maybe maybe some of these can Well, these movies were made so long ago. I don't know, guys. We can sit here and predict things forever. But I'm no Nostradamus, in case you guys didn't know. And I just really like the movie, man. It had that really old... When did this movie come out? Early 2000. 2000, 2000 on the I dot? I think 2000 on the dot, I think. Guys, so this had one of those 2000 vibes to it. You guys know what I'm talking about. I really appreciate films back then, man. I really appreciate how how simple they are, right? I mean, mm -hmm. they're just very simple movies. You guys know what I'm saying. 
It definitely had that old school 2000s feel, which I really appreciated. I appreciate that because as these movies go forward and they become more recent, you know, the whole feel of the movie prepared, like this one prepared to the eighth movie we watched will feel so different. Right. It'll be cool to see that. Right. And these times always feel a little simpler, which in a way leads to like more nostalgia, I guess, because maybe life was simpler back when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for rocking with us, man. We got a long journey ahead of us. Shout out to the editor, man. Uh, yeah, this is the very first video that he's been working with us. So good luck with this one. Sorry, we talk a lot. Right. If you guys appreciate the editing, man, just like the video to show our editor that you guys like the work that he did. And hopefully he'll do more of the same. So thank you guys so much for rocking with us, man. Like, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon if you want more content. We'll see y'all on X2. Let's go.